It's time for the match preview. Freiburg versus West Ham. Uh, big game, this. Really, really big one um, for our Europa League group. Uh, arguably probably our toughest game of the group, this one. So, something David Moyes has to get right, um, especially with the week we've got coming up. Uh, before we get into the actual preview, though, I just want to let you know we've got a video coming out tomorrow. And so just keep your eye out for it because it's our giveaway for a West Ham top home away or third. So, yeah, do keep your eye out for that one. And uh, that'll be up sort of tomorrow uh, afternoonish sort of time. So all you need to do is um, watch the video, basically, and it will tell you what you need to do. But basically, just put a comment down uh, on that. And then you enter the competition. And you must be a subscriber. So if you're not a subscriber, do click subscribe. And, of course, the like button. Uh, if you're watching this video, we do appreciate it, of course. Um, it does a lot for the channel. Um, yeah, big game, this. Uh, you know, looking at the group, I think it's fair to say when you first look at it in terms of our opponents, the Group A, um, Olympiacos is the one that kind of jumps out at you and makes you think that that's going to be our toughest. And, and I'm not you know, discrediting the fact that Olympiacos is a decent side, um, but I actually would go as far as saying Freiburg is going to be possibly, possibly even tougher. That's, they're a really decent side, actually. They're not bad at all um, in, a, in a good league. You know, they're, they're a Bundesliga side. And if you look at them, they're not too dissimilar from West Ham uh, in terms of their recent seasons. If you look at the history, you know they, they've, they've been sort of challenging the sort of top-ish teams in terms of the European places. Um, they're always there or thereabouts. They've had a half decent start to the season. Um, I mean, they're just no mugs. What I'm trying to say, we're not we're not playing um, a side that I think you, you look at and go, yeah, we, we'll go out there, we'll get a result. I'm quite confident of it. I think this is going to be a tough game. Um, it, re it really is. And it actually makes me realise, uh, well, it reminds me of the change from last season. So don't, don't get me wrong, Europa League, fantastic. You know, sorry, the Europa Conference League, we did so well. You know, what an amazing journey it was. And um, But obviously this season, we've now gone to the Europa League. It's always going to be that step up. Um, you probably wouldn't have felt found that in the first game. But this game, there's that feeling already like, uh, yeah, this is a step up. My, what I'm alluding to there is that, this is a game that David Moyes really can't sort of take the foot off the gas a little bit and go, right, I'm going to just rotate and play my sort of second string side. That should be enough to get a result. That, that Those days are gone now and we're not in that sort of competition. We we have to be playing out a very, very strong side, if not our strongest, uh, to be honest. I think this is going to be a tough test for West Ham. Um, but, I'm, but I'm not worried about that. I actually think it's a good thing. We want, we want to be tested. We, and we've been here before. You know, we were a couple of years ago in Europa League and let's be honest, it was fantastic as well. We did very well. We seem to... We seem to do well on the European stage. I know I'm probably jinxing it, but, I, I, you know, it's one of those games. I, I love it. I love European football. So excited for it. Um, yeah, it's but it's one that's a step up. There's no two ways about it. Um, and, and let's be honest, it's it's at the beginning of a very, very big week. Um, I, I hate to say this all term because it sounds a bit dramatic, like season defining. But it feels like it is a little bit. And by that, I mean... If let's just say I'm not just yeah just putting it out let's just let's just um, suggest that West Ham win uh, on Thursday night, which would be a fantastic result. Get us, you know solidify our, our place at top of Group A, and I would dare I say if we win this game, it would give the feeling that West Ham are very strong favourites and to advance into the um, knockout stages. So that would be a big lift for everybody, and then you could start getting a bit excited for that phase of the tournament. Not saying it'd be done, but it just give you that belief that West Ham are going to do it. Because as I say, I actually look at this and think this is arguably probably the toughest game of the group we've got. So if we were able to get three points of it out of it, then. It, it would certainly give me, and I'm sure a lot of others, that confidence that we are going to go and get, um, are going to advance to the next stage of the tournament. So that's why that's huge. And then, of course, you've got Newcastle on Sunday. And again, like I was saying um, after the Sheffield United game, that you get that feeling that the, the league's starting to take shape, that teams that are going to be competing for those European spots, the teams that are going to be fighting for the title, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I just feel like if West Ham were, let's just say, go and win on Sunday, beat Newcastle, it just gives that feeling right before the international break that, you know what, West Ham have just beaten a side that we're going to be competing with this season. And it'll give that belief, that strength that we're going to go, do you know what, we can do this. We can we can get one of these spots this season. And that's what I mean by sort of season defined. I just think if we can get these results uh, over the line, um, then it would be huge for us. But it's let's, let's make a mistake. It's 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 going to be tough. It, it, it you know we've got a decent side. No ways about it. I'm very impressed with West Ham at the moment in terms of our squad depth and quality. The way that we seem to be tougher, we've got a bit a bit of steel about us now. A bit of, and I think this cup win has done that as well. It's given us that bit of experience. We've got a little bit more um, confidence about our side and what we're doing. We look a bit more assured, you know. And I, I you feel that in the Premier League, and, and, and already we've seen it in the, the Europa. So this is going to be an interesting few days for this football club. And of course, starting with Freiburg. So 
Um, big challenge, of course, in this one. Um, in, well, not only is it a tough side, and it's going to be very difficult, but also the fact that we've got no fans there. We've got this uh, ban because of the incidents we've had uh, last season in the final. So they've, we've got a uh, suspension for away traveling supporters. That is going to be a problem, I think, actually. I, I, I think it's... It's important to have West Ham fans in there making noise, and um, you know, because we, we we are a noisy bunch, and it's going to be interesting to see how we cope with that. But having said that, when you consider the West Ham players, when I'm talking about the squad and sort of you know, the experience we've got, Fabianski, Zuma, Antonio, you've got these sort of players that have been there a little bit. Um, Paqueta, you know, I, I don't know whether it's going to really affect them too much. I, I they're, they're professional guys, they're winners. They you know they know they know what they're doing. They've been there. We've been we've been under big pressure before. Yes. It's going to be a bit of a problem. I, I think it is going to be a little bit of an issue not having the fans there, but I don't think it'd be enough to cause us too much of an issue. I'd, I'd like to hope so anyway. Let's that, that, really hope that is the case. Um, but I'll tell you what, in regards to David Moyes, I mean, he's had, a, you know, we've had a great start to the season. Uh, the pressure is certainly off him at the moment, um, and, and, and and rightly so, but you do get the feeling this is a big week for him. He'll know that this is a, he will want to get these results right. And starting Thursday, he, this is a big, big opportunity for West Ham to really stamp our mark on the tournament already this season. You know, win the first game at home. We were expected to win that game. So it wasn't it wasn't um, making any big headlines. And I don't think even for myself, you know, you kind of like I expected West Ham to get the result. This one's a bit of a, oh, this is going to be testing now. Let's see how we cope. Again, no fans um, against a solid side. And... Um, but that doesn't mean, mean I'm, I'm feeling like we're not going to. I, th I think we've got every chance. And, and I'm talking about Sunday as well. I'm going into these with a fair bit of confidence, but knowing that we're going to have to play very well. And then that being said, when you say we've got to play very well, team selection is bloody vital. David Moyes has to get this right. And by that, I mean, like I said earlier, don't go in with a mindset of thinking, well, I'm going to play Danny Ings. I'm going to play a few of the kids. No, this is a big game. And I, I'm sure that he will not, you know, he will know that. He's not stupid. I'm sure that the, the, the team will be very aware this is a big, big chance um, to give us a one big step towards uh, the knockout stage of the tournament. So um, on to the team selection then. So this is, as I've said, I, I'm really mindful of that. I want to win this game big time. I, 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 don't want to, um, I don't want to take any risks. So although I'm not playing exactly the same team I normally would pick for a Premier League game, I, I, I'd like to think, it's, to be honest, it's not too dissimilar. Uh, I didn't want to make too many changes. Um, in goal, I'd like to know your team, obviously, of course. Let me know your side and let me know your prediction. Um, as I've said, what we're going to do is, if you get the prediction completely spot on, um, we'll pick one that gets it right at random and we'll send you a, a gift from our uh, club store. Uh, so do uh, bear that in mind. Um, and I'll give my obviously prediction at the end of this. So as I say, let you know your team and the prediction and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, keep an eye out for all of them, of course. And um, whoever gets it right, we'll do a random and then we'll send you something uh, from our store. So obviously completely free as a prize, which is uh, yeah quite exciting. Um, here we go. So Fabianski and goal for me. Uh, I mean... I think he's actually been really good this season, Fabianski. I think he was very, very good in pre-season. He's looked solid when he's been called upon. I, I mean, I, I think he deserves it. Um, and I, I want to keep that 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 uh, harmony in, in, in the back. I, 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 I've, I've, I've contradicted myself a little bit here because I have said before, I don't like that sort of cup goalkeeper thing. But with this, you do feel like with Fabianski, it's like having a, it's another number one goalkeeper. I don't. It's it's not as if we're putting in um, a kid and thinking let's take a risk. You know, a young kid, uh, you know, from the academy or 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 a goalkeeper that's you know forty five that's coming towards the end. Of, I, this is a decent goalkeeper and a good experience, and I, I, I'd have I'd have confidence that he'll be okay. So, yeah, I do think it's right. And as I say, I, I don't want to. We've, he's already made comments, isn't he, early in the season, Fabianski, about being quite unhappy about the fact that he's, he was effectively dropped as number one goalkeeper. So the last thing you want is to drop him from this, and then it, you just know it cause a few issues um, behind the scenes. So I, I just think it'd be the, it's the right decision. Keep Fabianski in goal. Uh, right back, um, I'm going to go Tilo Kira for this one. Um, uh, Vladimir Soufal has been absolutely excellent for us. Um, and he's, he's actually... At that point now, he's he's so he's like you know Vladimir Sufal that we first signed, much like Suchek has become, and this season. Um, but with this game, I just feel like it's a good opportunity for Kira again. And like another player, I want to keep that harmony going. I want to keep him playing. He's a good he's a good player. He's just being kept out the side because we're playing so well in terms of you know personnel. You're not going to take uh, Sufal out the side in terms of Premier League. And I've also got that in mind. 
I'm keeping my mindful of Sunday, and I think you know what, it may be beneficial to give Valimir Sufal a rest uh, for this one. And, uh, and as I say, putting Kira in doesn't worry me really. Uh, so Valimir Sufal is still my number one right back, but I still think Kira is a decent right back. He's proven he can play there and do a good job. So yeah, Kira right back for me. Um, two centre backs I'm keeping as Zuma and Agird actually. Uh, Mavropanos, of course, I, I really feel for in, in making that decision because. Oh, well, my, it's not my decision, but in terms of my like predict, you know, what I would like to see. Um, uh, but yeah, I just think, as I say, I want to win this game. And, I, and we had a good, we had this good clean sheet against uh, Sheffield tonight. I know they weren't overly troubled that much, but I think I, I, I thought the girl actually played well. And I, I just want to keep it. I, I just think keep, keep things solid. Zuma and a girl, it just gives that confidence. I'd be a bit more, more belief there. So, yeah, they're the, my two back uh, centre, centre backs for this game. Um, Emerson at left back, kind of obvious that one. Um, we don't really have another option at this stage, do we? Uh, Creswell's injured, um, and, and Emerson's a great player for us, been vital. So, I have no problem putting him in. Uh, much like Sufat, it would have been quite nice to rest him if we had someone like like Akira just come and straight in and do a job. But I just think, no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to keep Emerson for this one. It's, it's the option we have available, and I just think it's the right, that would be the right call. Uh, midfield, very strong for me. I've gone for. Uh, I am dropping Thomas Suchek, by the way, for this one, um, because I want to see uh, Alvarez, Walprouse and Paqueta, uh, Paqueta playing in, in front behind uh, Antonio and, you know, uh, in, in the mix with um, the wingers. So, yeah, I'd, and, and again, it's, it's it's one of them games, I just don't know, I'll, I'll get the feet of thrive in this Paqueta. It's sort of games that suit him well. Uh, so that's what I want to see. So I'm going to go here. Yeah, Alvarez, Walprouse and Paqueta as my three midfielders. On the right-hand side, Jared Bowen, look, is he available? Don't know. Um, that, that's the only issue. That the team news is that Bowen could be injured for this. He's picked up a minor, it's only minor, minor knock, but my gut feeling is that he'll play. I don't I don't know if it's enough. I've seen pictures of him tra- on the training pitch, so my, I would say he's probably likely to be available. Um it, let's be honest, it'd be a blow if he's not, because he's he's playing bloody well at the moment. And we need our best players out there. So yeah, but Bowen on the right for me. Um Mohammed Kudas for me starts on the left. I, I really want to see him now. Um I got a bit of criticism when I did the last team section for the Sheffield United game because I said that I would like to see um Suchek in that game just because of the set pieces. Um and people say, oh, my God, you know, you're not picking the kudos. And I, I do get it because I, I really am excited by kudos. I mean, my word, even against Sheffield United, didn't he? he did that run. And it's just like, what? He, he's got some serious talent and pace. And, yeah, I'm very excited by him. So I just think these are the sort of games. If, it, if, it, if we want to start seeing these players play and you're a bit reluctant in the Premier League because they, they need to catch up with pace, well, he, he, he'll be OK in this game. So I want to see him give him the start. And I think I, I think he will, to be honest. I've got a feeling Moyes will start him. So, yeah, I'm going Kudus out on the left. And how, when I say on the left, I, I, he can sort of interchange with um, Paqueta. I think they can sort of alternate between each other. And I think that'll work quite well. And Mikel Antonio up front. It's that problem again, isn't it? We don't really have any other options. That's the only issue I'll say about West Ham at the moment. We, we've talked about a video yesterday in terms of the transfer news in terms of West Ham target and striker. That's bloody well why. We don't really have any other options at the moment. I mean, Obama, of course, I, I'm very excited by and, you know, academy player. You want to see him flourish and come up through the, through the the into the first team. But he's just not ready, is he, at this stage? You, you know, you can't throw him in at this, and this is a big game. So, Antonio will be relying on again, and that's a bit of a blow, isn't it, in a sense, because you've got Sunday coming up. You'd like to really keep Antonio fresh, and not to say Danny Ings can't do the job, um, but I, I don't know. I, I mean, it's an interesting one. Uh, you can imagine Moyes might start Ings. If I'm David Moyes, he might be thinking about Sunday, but I just, as I say, I really want to win this game. Maybe, if you're, if you're looking at this team, I'm picking... If I was the manager, I'd be thinking in my mind, if we go one or two up, or I'd say two up, then I'll make some changes quite quickly because I want to rest players. And I'm hoping that is maybe the mindset of Moyes for this. Um, look, big game. He's got to get it right. And I, and I do I do foresee him putting out a very strong side for this, uh, like I have. Um, my prediction is a draw for this one all. Um, I'd love to win it. I really would. I, of course, um, it, as I say, it would be a big, big um, stamp on this tournament to go and win uh, um, tomorrow night. But uh, I've just got this feeling we're going to struggle. I think it's going to be a hard game. I think it's going to be harder than we anticipate. Um, as I say, no fans there as well. Away from home. Uh, it's been interesting. I mean, we've got, we've got a great record in Europe. We, we seem to handle it quite well. So I've got confidence the players will be able to handle it. Um, but I just think we are walking into a very tough game. But look, one all, that's what I'm going for. Let's really hope we can pull this off because if we can get a decent result out there and then it leads us lovely into Sunday. Come on, your irons. 